Good morning and welcome to your Monday maths lesson. OK, here's our do now um, for today. Uh, we've got some word problems here, so I'm going to read them out to you. Then you can pause the video, have a go with your adult, and then we'll come back and we'll have a go together. OK, so the first one says Jake ate four slices of pizza. Mary ate five slices of pizza. How many slices of pizza were eaten? OK, the next one says there were five pencils in a jar. Three of them were taken out of the jar. How many were left? The red one says if you bake two cookies and then bake another two cookies, how many cookies would you have baked? And the final one says, if you invite five people to a party and one of them uh, says they cannot come, how many people will be at the party? Pause the video, have a go at these. Remember to use objects to help you with these. OK, and then we'll come back and do it together. Off you go. OK, boys and girls, let's have a go together. So let's do the first one. Jake ate four slices of pizza. Mary ate five slices of pizza. How many slices of pizza were eaten? So let's start again. So Jake ate um, four slices of pizza. Two, three, four slices of pizza. Mary ate five slices of pizza. One, two, three, four, five. Four plus five. So let's count on, boys and girls. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Jake and Mary ate nine slices of pizza all together. Four plus five makes nine. Well done, boys and girls. OK, what's the next one? There were five pencils in a jar. Three of them were taken out of the jar. How many pencils were left? Well, let's go back to my visualizer. Let's work this one out. So we had five, one, two, three, four, five. We had five pencils and three of them were taken out. So I need to take away three, don't I? OK, so one, two, three. Taking away three, how many are left? Well done, if you said two. All right, on to the next one. Cookies. If you bake two cookies and then bake another two, how many would have been baked? So if you bake two cookies, two cookies have been baked, and then two more, one, two are added. How many cookies have we got all together? One, two, three, four. Well done if you said four, boys and girls. And we have one more, don't we? If you invite five people to a party and one of them says they cannot come, how many people will be at that party? So, we invited five people to the party. One, two, three, four, and five. So five people can come to the uh, have been invited to the party, but one said they cannot come. How many people came to the party? One. Two, three, four. 
Well done, boys and girls. If you said four, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. Today we are learning to find number bonds for numbers six, seven, and eight. You will be successful if you can split a number into two parts. And you can say if you can say what is the whole and what are the parts, and if you can find different number pairs for the same number. Our star words are equal to part and whole. OK, so let's separate six into two parts. What number bonds can we find? So we need six, don't we? OK, we need six um, cubes, so I'm going to do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's separate it into two parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have three over here, and I have three over here. Three and three make six. I'm going to show you how we can do this with our number bond machine now. OK, here's my number bond machine. Now I'm going to work methodic methodically. OK, I'm going to have a method to what I'm doing. I'm not just going to do it at random now. OK, so the first one I can see here, I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six on my yellow side. And I have none on my blue side. Six and zero make six. OK. Now I'm going to move one across. How many have I got on my yellow side and how many have I got on my blue side? Right, let's have a look. Five yellow, one, two, three, four, five, one blue. Five and one make six. I'm going to move one across. How many have I got over here? One, two, three, four, four in this part and one, two, two in this part. Four and two make six. Move one across. One, two, three, three in this part. Three in this part. Three and three make six. Move one across. One, two, two in this part. One, two, three, four. Four in this part. Two and four make six. Move one across. One in this part. One, two, three, four, five. Five in this part. One and five make six. Let's move that one over. Have I got any in my yellow part? No, I don't. Zero and one, two, three, four, five, six. Zero and six make six. Okay. Let's move on. So let's have a go at making some number bonds for six. OK, we're going to make four different number bonds here. So I have got. i share my visualizer with you again. So I'm going to have six at the top here. And I'm going to have my two parts So my whole is six and my part is here and my other part is here. Two parts to a whole number. How many um, cubes do I need? How many cubes do I need? Six. Well done. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so we can see it properly. Great, that's better. So well done, I, I need six. So I'm going to put six in my hole. Two, three, four, five, 
six. There's my six. OK, and I'm going to split them into my parts, but I'm going to be methodical. OK, I'm going to use a method. I'm not just going to do it at random. So I'm going to move all of them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And zero makes six. So then I could write that down. I could write it here. Uh, six plus zero equals six. All right, on to the next one. I'm going to move one across because that's all I need to do. How many have I got in this part? One, two, three, four, five. Well, I don't know if you said five. How many have I got in this part? One. So I know that five, five plus one makes six. All right, what am I going to do next? Well done if you said I'm going to move a uh, uh, cube from this part into this part. So there we go. Move it across. How many have I got in this part now? Four, well done. Four plus Two equals six. Very good. We're going to do one more, boys and girls. So what do I need to do first? Very good. Move one across. So I have now got one, two, three over here in this part. How many have got in this part? Three. Oh, it's equal. Three plus three equals six fantastic well done boys and girls we have found four different um uh, number bonds for six i wonder if you could find some more let's go back to the sheet now we're going to have another go with our number seven okay we're going to split seven into two parts. So seven at the top. One part. Two parts. OK, I need seven cubes now, don't I? So one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Got my seven cubes there. Now I'm going to be methodical with this. And I'm going to put them all into my first parts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got seven over here. Now, what's my number sentence? Seven plus zero well done seven plus zero equals seven well done let's move one across okay let's count our number sentence now so we have got one two three four five six plus one six plus one equals seven well done i'm going to move it across now how many have i got in this part one two three four five five plus so i'll write my five down five plus two good equals seven well done We'll do one more. So what do I need to do first? Take one part from here and move it over there. Very good, that's methodical. All right, let's count now. How many have we got over here? Four, well done. Four plus one, two, three. Four plus three equals seven. Very good, boys and girls. 
OK, we are going to have a go at this with the number eight next. OK, there's my eight. That's my whole number. Eight is my whole number. And I've got my two parts. So how many cubes do I need? Eight, well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What should I do with them? Yes, I need to move them into parts, but I'm going to be methodical, so I'm going to move them all into one part. I'm going to start with this one this time, switch it up a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's my number sentence going to be? How many have I got over here? Zero, well done. So I'm going to put zero there. Plus, how many over here? Eight, well done. Zero plus eight makes eight. Okay, let's move one across. Right, let's count how many we've we got here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many have we got over here? One. So we start with this one. One plus seven equals eight. Very good. What do I need to do next? Move it across. Well done. All right, how many have I got over here? Two, very good. I'm going to put my two here then. Two plus, two plus what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two plus six makes eight. OK, let's do one more. And then I want to see if we can find the pattern forming. So what do I need to do first? Yeah, I need to move this across. What? How many have I got over here? Good, I've got three. Three plus what? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Three plus five equals, what does it make? Eight, very good. Right, let's have a look at these. We've got a bit of a pattern forming here. I'm going to take these away. And I'm going to write it down here, write this one down here. So three plus five equals eight. I want you to have a look at these numbers here. What's happening to these numbers? Zero, one, two, three. What's happening? The numbers on this side are getting bigger. Now I want you to, to have a look at these numbers here. What's happening here? The numbers are getting smaller. Eight, seven, six, five. I can see the numbers are getting smaller. So I think I'm going to guess what the next one should be. The next number sentence could be. So right, zero, one, two, three. What will be next? Four, because the numbers are getting bigger. It's going to be a four. Four plus. Hmm. Let's count down and see what number should be next. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Very good. Four plus four equals eight. I wonder if you could carry on and work out all the number bonds for eight. OK. Boys and girls, this is your independent learning today. So what you need to do is find four number bonds for six, then four number bonds for seven, and then one, two, three, four, five number bonds for eight. OK, so I want you to use our um, Use some cubes, use a piece of paper to help you like I've just done. 
OK, and then when, once you finish, you can fill in the missing numbers using the number bonds down here. OK, good luck, boys and girls. Make sure you put it onto Seesaw for us and we look forward to seeing your work.